My name is Levi Harris, and today I'm going to be talking about Finn McCool from Celtic mythology. Okay, so uh, Finn McCool is actually one of my ultimate, ultimate favorite legends. Uh, I have a little bit of Irish ancestry, and, and I just love it. Uh, uh, I do have to give a disclaimer that I might mispronounce some of the words. Irish is kind of a hard language, but I've been learning, I've been practicing, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I wanted to talk about Finn McCool because he's a pretty famous um, figure in Celtic mythology, specifically Irish mythology, which is what we're, what we're doing. But uh, f the legend of Finn McCool is also found in Scotland and uh, the Isle of Man. So though it originated in Ireland, it has spread uh, and, and mirrors a lot of other uh, hero stories in, in Celtic mythology. So um, today I hope we learn something new about Finn McCool and, and just kind of delve into his legend. So uh, a lot of people talk about him as a giant. That's kind of a, a later legend. He actually was a hunter warrior um, and his life story is as follows. It is found in the Fenian cycle of mythology, also known as the Fianniocht. And uh, there, are, there are four main cycles or kind of volumes of, of Celtic mythology, Irish mythology, I should say. Um, the mythological cycle, which is the oldest. Then comes the Ulster cycle, which is also known as the Red Branch cycle. You have the Fenian or Oceanic cycle, which we'll talk about why it's called that. Um, and then the historical cycle or King cycle, which is the most recent of those four. And then all, all Irish history after that. So uh, this, this Fenian cycle or Oceanic cycle, or uh, the, the Irish word is Fenniocht, Fianniocht. Fianniocht um, is the one that talks about Finn McCool, and he's, he's a very, very famous character. Um, so the, the high king of the time, who lived at a place called Tara, um, which is a, a holy site in Ireland, uh, his name was, was Cormac, and he had um, what was called the Fianna. Now the Fianna was a group of, of young men who had gotten too old to, to rely on their fathers, but they had not yet inherited their own land. So they kind of roamed the countryside without a land and were hired by kings. And there were these hunter warrior bands of, of men that would just go around and kind of, um, uh, uh, sort of, sort of mercenary, sort of for hire. So, um, Cormac started the Fianna with two clans. One of the clans was clan Baskna, which was cool. Uh, was the leader of that clan, and the other clan was Clan Morna, which Gol Mac Morna was the was the leader, and these two were kind of enemies, Cool and Gol. So um, the fact that Gol and Cool Cool didn't like each other, uh, there was a battle, and it was it's called the Battle of Nock. So during the Battle of Mock, unfortunately, Cool was slain by Morna, um, and the Baskna treasure bag from from tribe Baskna, Clan Baskna, was stolen and given to Leah. So the the tribe of Baskna was kind of their leader was was killed and and uh, Gold McMorna kind of took command. But Cool had a wife named Muina, Muirna. And again, the Irish pronunciation, Muirna was her name. Um, and she ran away uh, after Cool uh, was killed and she was pregnant with their child. Now their child's name was Demna um, and he was raised by two warrior women. Now Demna eventually became Fionn. He was named Fionn because that's an ancient Irish word for fair or white and his, his hair was apparently very very light colored when he was young. Um, so we have a legend called The Boyhood Deeds of Finn McCool. It's a collection of stories about when he was still young, what happened. One of the most famous of the stories is called The Salmon of Knowledge. And it's when, when Finn, or Fionn, uh, finds an old man, sometimes known as a leprechaun, called Finn Eckes or Finnegus. Now Finnegus had been watching the salmon of knowledge, the salmon that had all the knowledge of the whole world um, because it had eaten some hazelnuts from the tree of knowledge, which had all the knowledge in the whole world. And uh, so Finn Eckes for years and years was trying to catch the salmon and he finally did. So he had Fionn, who was uh, studying under him at the time, cook the salmon. Um, as Fionn was cooking the salmon, he uh, went to press out one of the bubbles that the fat had bubbled and it burst and burned his thumb so he put it in his mouth and immediately gained all the knowledge from the salmon of knowledge uh, without trying to. Um, so Fionn McCool could then access that knowledge by putting the thumb in his mouth in the future to know what to do during battles or other things but that is one of this, the, the steps of him becoming a great warrior. Um, so Clan Baskna which still the leader was Gold McMorna, the leader of the Fianna. Clan Baskna was the rightful clan of Fionn McCool. So Fionn decided to go and take it back. So he went to Tara, and it just so happens that there was an evil fire demon 
that was coming to attack every Samhain. Samhain is uh, around what we would call Halloween, and so every uh, for for 23 years, uh, this um, being would come, and his name was Aelin. Um, Aelin the Burner, because he would come and burn everything down every Samhain. Now, Aelin was one of the Tua de Danan, and the Tua de Danan um, are an ancient group that lived in Ireland that, that some believe were um, the Celtic gods, the, the pre-Christian gods of Ireland, but in all the stories, the Tua de Danan become the fairies. So the Fey folk, which we'll talk about in the future, have their origins in, the, in these people, and Aileen was one of them, and a bad one. Uh, anyway, Aileen had a, had a magical harp that he would put everyone to sleep and burn everything down at Tara on Samhain. So Fionn McCool decided that he would defeat Aileen the Burner, um, and he did so by getting his father's old bag, his crane skin bag, which had a magic spear. And there's differing reports. This magic spear either was poisoned or it was, it was cursed so that it was red hot. And Fionn McCool either held it to his forehead to keep himself awake or inhaled the poison to keep himself awake. And as he did so, he wasn't uh, put to sleep by Eileen the Burner and was able to defeat him. And as soon as he did, they realized that he was uh, the son of, of McCool, uh, the son of Cool and that he was the rightful leader of Clan Basna. Now, after he had killed Aelin, uh, he was also made the leader of all of the Fianna, and Gormac Morna had to pledge fealty to him, so he gained his rightful place and avenged his father. Finn McCool then became a legendary leader of the Fianna. He is, uh, historically speaking, the most significant and had had many adventures. We'll go into a couple of those, like when he met his wife, Save. Um, also, you've probably noticed I'm putting up all of the words because Irish has interesting spelling so that you can see it as I say it. Um, but Fionn McCool was out hunting with two of his dogs, Bran and Skolang, uh, or Skoling. And these two dogs were actually used to be humans and, and transmitted into dogs, so, or transformed into dogs, so that's why they knew what was going on. But they saw a deer. Um, and Fionn wanted them to obviously hunt the deer and kill it, but they wouldn't do it. So. Uh, Fionn, having a lot of knowledge, knew something was going on. He picked up the deer and brought it home. And as soon as he crossed the border of his own land, it turned into a beautiful woman who was cursed by a druid whose name was Far Doirik. Um, he had cursed her to be a fawn because she wouldn't marry some, or to be a deer because she wouldn't marry someone. And as soon as she got into Finn McCool's land, uh, she became a beautiful woman and, and they were married. Uh, sadly, Save then left, uh, disappeared. And uh, months later, Finn, Finn McCool's two dogs found a, a small fawn in the forest, brought it back, and it transformed into a young boy whose name was Ocean. Ocean is the son of Fionn McCool and, and the author of the Fanny, the primary author of the Fianni uh, He was a poet and bard and was a, a great warrior also. And there are many legends about him, like how he potentially became immortal and even talked to St. Patrick once. The stories of Fionn McCool were written by his son, and uh, what's interesting is the end of Fionn's story is unknown. Some people say he died in a great battle, that five men at once killed him, and that that's what it took for him to die. But other people say something else. Other people say that Fionn McCool is, in fact, not dead, that he is sleeping with the Fianna, and that he will rise in Ireland's day of greatest need and save it when he hears what is the Dord Fionn. Now, I've, I've researched the Dord Fionn extensively, and uh, it, it seems that scholars are split on actually what it means, and, and it is the war cry of the Fianna, but they do not know if it was actually an instrument or that it was, that it was words that they chanted, which is the more accepted interpretation of that. So, uh, this Dord Fionn will be sounded again someday. Fionn McCool will rise from his slumber and, and save Ireland. So it is, is this really powerful, patriotic, um, wonderful legend that has have, has inspired kind of Irish culture for many years, and I wish that I had more time to go into it, but I find it very beautiful, very wonderful, and that is the legend of Fionn McCool. Thanks so much, everyone, for listening to today's kind of story, and uh, we'll see you all again in another world.